Wow. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. It is 39 degrees out on May the 16th. However, the birds are chirping, the sun is out, and it's supposed to get up to a balmy 59 degrees. Wow, looking forward to that. I mean, not like 59 degrees is... Good morning, guys. Not like 59 degrees is super hot here in Canada, because no, we don't live in igloos, and no, it doesn't snow for 10 months out of the year, although sometimes it feels that way in the wintertime, but uh, tomorrow it's supposed to get up into the 70s. This weekend's supposed to be nice as long as rain holds off. And we're looking forward to that because we're going camping. So stick with us, we've got more coming to you. So as you can see, I still haven't washed the truck, but I made a deal with Junior and he's supposed to do it tonight after work because he owes me. So Bill sold my winter drive. It's only been sitting on the lot for a week, but I knew that it wouldn't last long. We had it priced to sell and uh, it's going to a local fella here and I think he's going to appreciate it. So. Best of luck. Thank you, Winter Beater. I think I'm going to have to get me another one of those for next winter. As I've said before, the freaking tank in the snow. So for the last two videos or so, I've been telling you that I'm going to get the shop truck cleaned. So, guess what? I'm getting it cleaned. Granite Jr. is the one cleaning it, but it's getting done. Finally. Oh, it'll look better though when it's uh, all cleaned up. Get them white letters shining, the wheels clean, and the grime off of it. See, we, we undercoat this truck every year, and if you can see right here, it always creeps out around the door handle and down here around the gas cap. So I run my finger, you get a nice clean line there. And that is a sign of a really good undercoating is when it starts to creep. Yes, it makes a little bit of mess and yes, it creeps out around your tail lights, your gas cap, your doors, your handles and stuff like that. But it's doing its job, it's moving, it's getting into all those nooks and crannies so your vehicles don't rust. Here in Southern New Brunswick, it is a problem because we're on the coast, we get a lot of freeze and thaw. We get a lot of wet, heavy snow and slush. And when the roads freeze, they put a ton of salt down. So undercoating is the way to go. We do a pile of it here. We recommend it to all of our customers and on our own vehicles, we have it done just to save it, get that little bit of extra life out of it. Heck, even Junior got his truck undercoated. For the first time in 26 years. <laughs> For the first time in 26 years. Hey Alex, you want to see if you can buff that? Sure. More than plastic. <laughs> so I figure I probably will give you, I probably should give you an update on all these cars that are sitting out back here. So starting with the Dodge Caravan, we took this on trade last week on the gray Dodge Caravan. And for the most part, it's got some rust issues, so rocker panels, there's a few spots around the back. It's got a big uh, a big uh, hole in the back bumper right there. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with it yet. We may bring it in, check it over, other than the rust, whether we can, if it's just you know cosmetic rust that we can get it fixed pretty easy, we'll fix it. If not, uh, we may just send it to the junkyard. The, 2007 <clears throat> Hyundai Sonata we bought that last week and the reason why we bought it is because it is such a clean car um, it's a GLS model so it's got the fog lights it's got the sunroof and heated seats 
uh, aluminum wheels and, and whatnot. So for a 2007, it's an extremely good condition. We just haven't had the opportunity uh, to get it through the shop yet. The Matrix is something that we took on trade as well a couple of uh, weeks ago, a week and a half ago on the 14 Kia Rondo. Uh, it has been through the shop, but it just has not been finished being detailed yet. So uh, it needs a wash, needs a shine, needs a windows done on the inside. Kia Soul, well, you kind of know what's going on with that. Um, we've got the motor tour part. We got an appointment, not an appointment, but we booked off some time next week to get that uh, all looked after, uh, hopefully once and for all get some parts ordered for it hhr is a customer vehicle uh something wrong with the motor we think the timing chain is gone in that um, this is also a customer vehicle was in for an inspection this is a customer vehicle uh in for an inspection we got the inspection done today the honda fit is another good customer of ours and we got uh, it was in for tires today and as busy as we are this time of year with tires unfortunately we mistakenly put the wrong tires on. As you can see, they look like they're quite a bit oversized. But when you've got a shop full of tires, uh, it's very easy to do just to grab that wrong set that's sitting aside and, uh, well, put the wrong size on it. I can't take the blame on this one either. It, uh, it totally wasn't me, but uh, we'll blame Johnny. Johnny wasn't here for that. We can blame Johnny. It's Johnny's fault. And the 2011 Jeep, uh, the transmission is bad on this and uh, we've got a customer that's looking to trade it in. So with a transmission bad, it doesn't have a whole lot of value, but nevertheless, there is some value there. It is four wheel drive after all. So, you know, we put a transmission in it. We should be able to get somebody interested in it. So that's the details on these vehicles. Oh, one last one that we didn't mention is the uh, avalanche back there. Uh, not sure what we're gonna do with that one yet. So we'll have to get it through the shop and, uh, and see what we're gonna do. And uh, most likely it'll go to the auction. And for some reason, the windows are down in the matrix. So we better get those windows up in case it rains. So I went over to Callus um, just a few minutes ago to see if my burly boy beard butter order had come in and it has not a little bit disappointed just because i'm quite anxious to see what this uh, beard butter does relative to the beard balm that i've been using and the beard oil uh, at nighttime i really do love the product so far it uh, the beard balm when i wake up in the morning after i have a shower and i and i run that through really helps keep my beard straight uh, as opposed to kind of, you know, just wisping off all on its own, all willy-nilly. And I've never had a product that held quite as good as the Burly Boy product does. I've tried several stuff. I've tried several products. Uh, so far, the Burly Boy Beard Bomb, almost a tongue twister there, is the stuff that seems to be working the best for me. Uh, the nighttime stuff, I mean, in my opinion, it probably works just as well as some of the other oils that I've tried. The biggest difference is, is the scent. I've said it before, you've seen in my Instagram posts that I, I love the smell of the, uh, of the nighttime beard oil. And uh, if you guys are interested in some Burly Boy product, uh, I will put the uh, link in the description below as well as their Instagram information right here above so you can take a look and see what they have to offer. And I would really encourage you to uh, reach out to them <clears throat> and, um, and try their products. You definitely, uh, you'll definitely be impressed with what they have to offer. So one of the other things that I did the, uh, the other night was I put together what I would call a promotional video of my channel. And I just threw it together with some clips that I had, it's just something highlighting some of the fun that we have on my channel. And I'm gonna put that link in the cards above so that you can take a look and see if, you, uh, if it's something that you like. And if you do, I really encourage you, share that link with your friends. Share it on Facebook, share it on Instagram, share it on Twitter and don't be afraid to tag me in it so that you can see 
uh, a little bit of what goes on in, in in my daily life as far as being a you know small town car dealer in, in basically a town of uh, 5,000 people or less and uh, in a community that's probably about 20,000 people strong um, in the county so um, we have some fun with this video we do a kind of a day in the life of uh, we have a couple of project cars, my 79 Cordoba, my dad has the 36 Dodge, which I haven't done an update on in a little while, but um, he's getting ready to get the fenders painted, the two front fenders, and once those are painted, the, the car assembly uh, essentially will be done and we'll be able to start driving that. And Alex's truck, the 92 Dakota, uh, which you'll see in the video, uh, doing his little one wheel peel that he's very proud of by the way um, that vehicle does need a little bit of work as well so the two front fenders are rusty the two rear fenders are rusty and we have all the parts necessary to change out um, he's got a new driver's side door because the driver's side door on his the bottom of the door is starting to rot out a little bit and then we've got a couple of small patches we're going to have to do on the rocker panels which again, in southern New Brunswick, like I've said before, uh, it's just the nature of living in this neck of the woods. All the more reason to have your vehicles undercoated if you live in snowy conditions where road salt is used. But back to the topic, we have um, we have a couple of project vehicles that we're constantly working on, and we highlight those. Uh, we highlight some of the sales that we have as far as. Uh, you know, when we sell a vehicle or what goes into selling a vehicle, sometimes what goes into cleaning one and getting it ready for the lot. And, uh, you know, we just want to be a part of the Canadian uh, YouTube team. And, and not just Canadian, but East Coast. Uh, so, uh, New Brunswick represent. And uh, the biggest reason is, is because we are A, Canadian, but B, we're New Brunswick proud. And, uh, and proud to serve our local community. So I really encourage you, if you haven't already, to click that subscribe button and hit the bell notification right beside the subscribe button. What that does is that gives you a notification that I've uploaded a new video. So when I upload, you get notified, you can go watch it right away or you can save it uh, for when it's convenient for you. Hit the like button, comment in the comment section below what you like about my channel, maybe even what you don't like. Uh, I like to hear from you. It's great interaction, and uh, we'll have lots of new stuff on the channel very soon. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. I know I say it every time. I really appreciate you stopping in. We'll see you in the next upload.